Hi guys, David Healy here. I want to show you how to install and set up Sublime Text 3 for working with Niels Lieberg's KSP editor plugin. So I've seen on the VI Control forum a few people asking um, how do you set this up or a few people having a small problems with setting this up and I'm just setting this up on a new system so I thought I'd walk you through it while I do it. So you need to go to sublimetext.com forward slash three and it's currently in beta version, has been for a long time but it's a very stable piece of software. You can see the last release was the 29th of August so quite recent. You just need to download the version that's applicable for your system so I'm going to download Windows 64 bit. Only takes a moment to download, it's quite a small file. There we go. And then you need to go to this forum thread. The link should be on your screen now. And Niels hasn't put this plugin up on his website yet. Uh, so when he does this link on the forum will probably disappear. But until then, he's given me permission to, uh, to, to make this available for, for everyone. So you go to this forum thread and then you click in this Dropbox link here at the top post and it takes you to a Dropbox folder just hit download and I'm just going to save this to my desktop again this should only take a second to download it's a very small file okay so that's done and if we run the Sublime Text 3 installer add a context menu. I don't know if that's available on the Mac version but it probably is. And there we go. Sublime Text is installed. Now all we need to do is put the KSP add-on in. So if we open up Sublime 3 and the first thing we'll do is register it. You can see at the top here it says unregistered. So when you go and buy your license code as I'm sure you will to support this very good piece of software. You go to help and enter license and I'm just going to put my license key in okay so now I'm registered so it gets rid of that unregistered heading at the top there and now we need to install the plugin so we go to preferences and browse packages and this brings up the Sublime Text Packages folder. Now you can get all sorts of plugins for Sublime Text. There's lots of useful ones out there, but the only one we're interested in at the moment is this one on the desktop. So what we're going to do is just extract it to um, Packages folder. Just drag that across. And we don't want it to extract to a subfolder. So I'll just get rid of that and hit extract. So it should be Sublime, KSP, and then inside it should go to all these files. If you've got it going from Sublime KSP to another folder inside called Sublime KSP, you need to move everything up one level because you just want to have Sublime KSP and then all these files. And I'm going to delete this Mac OS X folder because I'm not on a Mac. In here we've got all the files that make up the plugin. Uh, there's a readme down here at the bottom if you want to um, if you want to have a browse through that it pretty much gives you just the information I'm giving you now. So in here we've got one file in particular this default syntax.py and what this does is it makes um, it means when you open Sublime Text it's going to be in KSP mode by default because you can use Sublime Text to program in other languages as well it's not just for KSP. Um, so if you are going to use it for maybe web development or working in other programming languages and you don't want it to load up in KSP mode by default, just remove this. And then when you're in Sublime Text, you can press, I think it's Control Shift P, and you just type KS KSP and it'll put it into the KSP mode for you. Right, so let's have a quick look at it inside. So in the tools menu, 
let me just see what's going on oh I need to create a new file right so now we're in KSP mode so we'll go to tools and you see we've got all these options for contact um, for contact scripting if you've used Niels is original editor the standalone one let me bring it up this one um, you'll see in the settings menu you have similar options uh, one thing you might find useful is in the view if you go to sidebar and click uh, what did I click <laughs> let me find it there um, show sidebar that's, that's what you want um, you can open up fo folders and files in here which can be quite useful I think you can just drag files across let me just find a file um, let's drag this across yeah so you can just drag a, a folder if you're working in a project you just drag the project folder across and you've got access to it there there's loads of other plugins you might find useful um, you can just go on to the Sublime Text website and find out all about it there's tons of useful things you can do in Sublime Text there's a whole series of YouTube videos all about uh, the features of Sublime Text but as far as we're concerned it's set up now for programming in KSP you can see it's got the autocomplete stuff there for KSP programming just so it's uh, it's brilliant and if you press Control R you can jump around your code which is similar to let me bring it up again in the old editor you'd have your callbacks and functions listed on the left over here and uh, that's obviously missing from the sublime text version so control R is the equivalent and you just jump around and you'll soon get used to it and if you've got a big project you can type stuff in and it'll uh, bring it up so alright guys I hope that's useful and have fun programming KSP in sublime text